So here we go. I like that. That's such good dare spacing to to get right above where he can't really do anything. You can literally do nothing. Like, look at that. Oh my, and then it starts shield poking and the mana can't do anything. So the only, like, chance Cool Lime would have is if he takes the first stock, right? Yeah, pretty much. And it's already looking pretty grim. I was gonna say, that is a lot of percent on Nana. Yeah, and Nana. see Nana's dead already. 30 seconds in, and now, are we gonna see it? No, I think he, 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 wants to get the, he wants the stock lead first. Yeah. And then we're gonna see some camping. Oh, Ooh, that was, was almost gonna be, sick. yeah. <laughs> and Kulam is actually a pretty tricky to edge guard ice climber. He does a really good job of mixing up his oh invisible ceiling. What's good? Saving him. Yeah, he mixes up his just like drift to ledge, his up B side B. He mixes up pretty well, and his aerial drift is pretty solid, but Lod getting a beat on that, and uh, now here we go. Here we go indeed. So, uh, oh, oh no just, jump. This could Grab? be. Oh, how wow. did he miss that? I thought he was just going to go to ledge because anything else would have led into a wobble, but he does come back. And here comes the damage. Here comes the pain. This is nothing like what Lod said he was going to do. He's actually being super aggressive on Nana for putting those dares on shield, and that's it for Nana again. Yeah, he's actually, I guess he wants to send early. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm all about it. If, if you can win quickly, why would you win slowly over winning quickly? <laughs> I agree. So that's that fade back, that little mini fade that Cool Eye did to avoid the turn up and to avoid Lods in there was really good. Oh, and wow. that too. Sweet spot up B with, with Soka. Is this the camping? <laughs> Just yeah. dashing in the corner. But also, like, if you're, if you're Lod, I just feel like, you know, you have to think that, one, you're playing an extremely good matchup for yourself. Two, you're just a better player. So, like, yeah, the camping strategy would probably work, but I also don't think he should be worried about if he decides to be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. Peach can definitely play aggressive in this matchup. Because, like... Icy's rely on like doing out of shield like options, but Peach is just safe on shield. And right, turnips so destroy them. Yeah. And now it's the same thing. He's gonna find that perfect. Oh, jeez, careful. The yep. down airs. The perfect down air height. This is so it's so hard to watch. Like I I honestly don't know what ice climbers can do about that. Not a whole lot. And that's it for Oh, Kuhn. wow. He's just, just bobbling them. And this is looking real grim. I'm glad I got that free dollar from Gimmer. That's pretty nice of him. Oh, another slick fade back, though. But it's all irrelevant. making it back. And there's a stitch. Is that? Oh, just kidding. I thought it was a stitch. That's my fault. He's so far away. Will this be a four stack is the question now. I'm saying no. Oh, he's doing the like netting too, the quicker way to pull turnips. Yes. Oh, let's go on no the board. <laughs> there it is. The double dunk. But more the same. <laughs> Look at the shield. He can't even shield. He's not even shielding anymore. Yeah, because at some at a certain point too, like even if you are shielding, it's just gonna start poking over and over. Yeah. That's so 40, 50 damage from nothing. <laughs> yeah, from like one if, move. if you're a peach that's somehow struggling with ice climbers, just watch this. That, yeah. That's it for Nana, yeah. and that's it for this game. Uh, let's just wrap it up, go to game two, because, jeez. This is looking super rough for Cool One. Gonna come back? Uh, no, nope, oh, there it is. That's a stitch. <laughs> On the last one, the one that didn't matter, <laughs> gets a big stitch. Oh man, that was that was rough. It's probably gonna go stadium. That's the best stage. I know Yoshi's. I actually I like the stage for Peach in the back there. Yeah, yeah, talk to him. Talk to him. Maybe as a Peach main. As a Peach main, like the only stage I think Icy's do good is a stadium but uh sure they can get early kills here but peach can just kill you <laughs> like yep and that's it for nana 
Oh, oh Randall in the building though, just to get slapped again, but she's still oh oh <laughs> she's dead. Oh my god, Icy's have nowhere to run. <laughs> it's so hard. Up there dead, yeah, nice. Alright. <laughs> so the quick first stock. Again. And I think we're gonna just one of the same. No, that one is not. And even that, like if you do that that down air and it splits them up, then you still have a split. Yeah, that is crazy, actually. Oh, that nair is so quick. Look at that, he doesn't like that. He does nothing. He just immediately gets in that perfect down air float sweet spot. And that's it for Nana. And <laughs> this is this is just hard to watch. I mean, like, what a good run by Diego, by Cool Lime, to get to lose his quarters. Um, but that's like, that's it's about end it. Here. Yeah, it's going to end here, that's for sure. Yeah, but it's still, you got double peached, it happens. Yes, good worst today. nightmare. <laughs> yeah. And I like where Lot throws his turnips too, just to force early jumps from Cool Lime. I think it's you know the faster you get, the less mix-ups. You basically, if he still has jump side B, up B, etc., it's gonna be hard for him to come, you know, hard to get an edge guard. But if you get that, force that jump. Look at that. That was forty. It doesn't matter. That was forty-four <laughs> percent. That trade, like he'll take it. Oh my god. 44. Wobble? Nana, nope. I guess we've got a single wobble yet. That's just, I mean, that's. Lob's doing a good job of just staying above grab height. Yeah. Oh, oh, he went for it all. And Nana's dead. Oh, oh Nana, what the? the Randall, but nah. Oh, Nana! She's alive. What the hell? <laughs> Nana's crazy. Alright. Wait, there's the stock. And looking, Nana's still alive. Looking better than last game already. I like that pullback that La does too on those nares on shield. Where he'll just like drift a little bit back. So oh, that's a wobble. Oh, oh no, SDI, yeah. yeah that, that's not a true combo, the down, down throw down air. All right. Oh, not again. Not again. How many this times is, so is this? Oh, he actually gets out early that time. He got a buffer roll. Yeah, but look at the shield. Just no shield whatsoever. Oh man. Wow, these nares, that was sick. Alright, and that's it for Nana. And once again, it's looking real grim for our ice climber. It's just <laughs> crazy. Alright, another one. But there's the stock, I mean better than last game. Yep. So this is like a nine one matchup right here. Peach versus Sopo. Oh, the full cancel fair and a double jab is so little Ice Climber can do. That's JV3. JV3. Cool line. Not knowing what to do. I wouldn't know what to do either, man. It's hard. Yeah. Can't be like, well, yeah. Oh, what? Oh, I thought he would. I thought Cool Line picked Fox for a second. I was like, what? I think this is just a, you know, a test run for Lod. Because I think he feels confident enough in the Peach that the Peach can get the job done. And he does have counter picks in the event that he does lose his game, but yeah. this is just like a, you know, can I can I do it? Can I get my Fox a little warm-up? Because I have no idea why you would switch from one really good matchup to another, like when you're already doing work. Yeah. I think he might want to pull out the Fox later, because I know uh, oh, what a Smash God and the Zane have been giving his peeps a little bit of trouble lately. Spot dot shine. Oh, oh well done. Yeah. That's all it is, man. So just get a shine. She jumps even with ledge. And then she's dead. Yeah, Fox actually can get Icy super early. Yeah, I don't know. I actually don't like that decision to get the down tilt by Loud. He could have just crouch canceled uh, and up smashed. Or yeah. he could have just waited and even F smash too and said he went for an up tilt that didn't lead or anything. Now oh he's going to die. God, ledge dash, down smash, Icy's. Good stuff. Full we'll hop back air. So good by the ledge. Like, Wow, okay. that, was, that was nice. Yeah, that windmill is going to make it tricky to line up an up air, so I think it's a decision by Lodge to just go up there and get an up tilt that was going to cover a lot more. All right, Ooh. tech skill master? What is tech? Wow. Oh, that's oh, a wobble. That was, up tilt grab. That's, that's nice. the shoot at right there. Yep. Will Stadium mess this up? Nah, he's in the center. Yeah. It'll be fine. 
Yeah, yeah I wouldn't be surprised if Wild loses this game. Yeah, I think this is just an experiment because, like, against top, top level Ice Climbers, he's not going to go Fox. Yeah, of course. He's just going to stay Peach. That was really pretty. Combos the hell out of Nana there. Dead? Nah. No, one more, though. Yep, or an up smash. Oh, what? That was a weird grab. That was crazy. <laughs> Jab up smash. Reads the roll. Yeah, that was definitely not guaranteed, but it'll it'll work. Yep. Who we'll gets the bench cancels the drills? All right. Oh, I like the up air placements, just covering the majority of the platform. Double shine. Oh, yup. Wow. So good. Shine, best move in the game, probably. Missed every laser, but that's okay. Oh, uh, there's one standing laser. Oh, good for the tech chase, messes it up. Yeah, that transformation made things a little bit more difficult. Red ledge? No. A lot playing suit. It's almost like he's trolling him. The standing lasers. Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, running all the way across the stage, one laser. Oh, not the strongest hit. Yeah, it actually was a super tricky recovery. Like, he was inside of him with the side B. Jab Nair, wow. All right, so Cool Line potentially on his last stock of the entire tournament. A lot happy to just hang out, shoot some gun. Oh, and he decides to go for Popo instead of going for Nana. That might do it. Yeah, yes, that then. is a stock. So this is still doable. Super do. Oh, there's the grab. Oh, oh that's Nana it. in the building and the handoff to Wobble. And the Fox does not get the job done. And my guess is we will go right back to Peach. That was actually a really nice setup by Cool Lime to end the game. He got a couple good plays. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's... um. Cool Lime definitely not trying to lose that Fox. Yeah. I'm guessing a uh, Dreamland... Or maybe FD. FD is super good for Peach for some ACs. Yeah, I mean, he could basically just do the strategy we saw in games one and two, just like float around and drill. Yeah. He is going to go to Dreamland. Yep. Hey, cool, I'm getting the first hits now. That's a first. Wow. Oh, it's a wobble? Oh, I thought cool, this was going to be playing it. aggressive now. He's not, he's, oh my god. Okay. You see, this is one of those moments where like, you mess around that one game, you lose it, and now he might be getting nervous. Yeah. He might start messing up more. But oh, but you got to keep wobbling. Yeah, you have to go to, like, 150 and guarantee the kill. And now Lod with a new lease on life. That double backer will kill, though. Yes. Super strong. Wow. So. Man, this is this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. That should. Oh, look at the SDI by Nana to get the ledge. Nana's SDI every single time. That's crazy. And get yeah, patience Kulam, by Lod. Kulam deciding that, like, Approaching with, with Ices might be the answer to this. You don't want to be stuck in shield. <laughs> no. I've never seen that before. Jump across the screen and down air is so far. Alright, that up air. Not going to lead in anything. Oh, but no jump. Yep, he has to go into Squall Hammer. Oh, and Ooh. that'll do it. Didn't even trade. That was unfortunate. Alright, so three stocks apiece. That's a different. I mean, Cool Lime, that was the first time we saw Cool Lime get a lead against the Peach. So yeah. He's a little bit different. But that's where it's hard, man. Look at just. Oh my wow. God. How many slaps do you want? That was a lot of fares. That worked out really well for Law. That was, that was slick. Yeah. It's like 10 fares. Oh. Oh. What is Oh, what the? <laughs> trying to go for the triple Nair. Nair played with Sopa? Oh, and oh. the down smash coming out first for Cool Line. It looked like Lod was looking for it too. Oh, the Phantom Bear! Oh, wow, he read the. That was so good by Lod. Yeah, he up aired the first light shield, forced that slide off, and then up aired again. That was brilliant. Yeah, that was so good. That, that's, some, that's some top player stuff right there. Here we go. Back to the drills. And looks like Cool Line has a little bit of an idea now. He's just trying to wave dash back and avoid it altogether. Yeah. Oh, that was He's going so out greedy. And Nana yeah. dies to a peach downer. Wow. 
Yeah. That was so greedy for him to go out and expend the double jump. But it's one of those things where, like, I think you do have to overextend sometimes if you want to beat Peach's ICs. You have to go for some crazy reads. Yeah, that's true. You gotta make some plays. Yep. Because if you don't, then you just get camped like this. <laughs> And now Lot is doing the, the strategy. Yep. Have a turn up in your hand all the time. <laughs> Dead jump. Oh no! Dead. Caught him jumping up from ledge. A little too low. But now Nana back in the game. Wobble back on the table. Oh, that was so dangerous. Oh my gosh, he's just sitting right in front of him! I guess if you know you could wave dash in and grab that, but super, super sh small shield, and that should do it for Nana. One more Nair. Yep, that is the set right there. This yeah. comeback, you will never see a comeback like this, like a three-stock Sopo comeback against On Peach. Peach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but once again, great run by Cool Lime. Lost the mom early and then just trucked through losers. Uh, yep. Took out some PR players, took out Wenbo, took out Ace of Flakes, and... Uh, there was one other person to probably someone else pretty good, yeah. Yeah, because there's so many good players here. Oh, he beat uh, Plank. Oh, did he? Wow. Yeah. So that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he he might be uh, putting a case for him to be higher in the next PR. I don't know. <laughs> but if you're a lot here, you just gotta end the game. <laughs> you're up three stocks to one. He has 140 percent. There it is. There he is. He heard you. <laughs> I know he has headphones in, but <laughs> and the game, son, you're up three stocks to one, and it's Sopo, and he's still camping. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Just throw turnips. Oh my god! All right, so winners finals coming up next. Uh, we have a Xanadu Classic coming up. We have un unsponsored free agent Smash God. Taking on Jerry, <laughs> Scary Jerry out here. Ooh. Jerry is super good. This is this is his year. This is his year. There, Honestly, there is a super strong case that if you were doing the MDVA PR strictly on locals results, one and two in some order would be Jerry and Junebug. Like, those guys have been.